Hi, my name is Charn G. Vipaiwunski, and I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. When studying internal fluid flow using SOLIDWORKS flow simulation or flow express of parts or assemblies, we need to create lids so that we can apply boundary conditions. SOLIDWORKS flow simulation can automatically create lids. To do this, we need to activate the add-in for SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. In the Flow Simulation tab, we will find an icon to create lids. Notice that the software notifies us to select planar faces the openings belong to. I'll select this face to create a lid at this location, and I'm going to make the lid thickness 1 millimeter. Now we can see that a lid has been created within our design tree. Notice that it is also a separate body. But what about non-planar faces such as this area in my design? If I try to automatically create a lid, SOLIDWORKS does not capture the selection because these faces are not planar. In situations like this, we need to manually create lids. To do this, we need to first create a new plane. And I want to make sure that I have a new plane in this top area right here. I'll choose this vertex and the top plane as my references to make a plane at the desired location. Then I'll create a sketch on my new plane and use convert entities to capture the shape of this opening. I'm also going to be zooming in to make sure there are no gaps between these two edges. Then I'll extrude the sketch to create my lid. Make sure to uncheck the merge result box to make the part a separate body. If the lid is extruded too far into the domain, you could possibly be missing fluid area. You may want to go back and shorten the extrude distance of your lid. Make sure that the lid creates overlapping geometry to remove problematic line-to-line -line contact though. Now, if you don't have SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, you could still run a simple flow analysis using SOLIDWORKS Flow Express. Because Flow Express is a lightened version of SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation, you do not have the option to automatically create lids. But you can use a technique of manually creating lids for all planar and non-planar faces, or a Flow Express study. After you have completed creating lids, you are now ready to begin your internal fluid flow study. This is Charn G. by Pybunski for Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this video on creating lids in SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation and Flow Express. Mm -hmm.